Hello, this is Sandad here, and welcome back to Power Rangers SH Figure Arts Week. We're starting to wrap down to the second half of the line as we end with the Power Blaster Trio, and we start today with the Black Ranger. As always, we're taking a look at the packaging first, and it's another silver box. Uh, pretty cool packaging design still, but we've kind of seen it enough already. Just going to briefly go through for the variations for the Black Ranger. Good old Zack, or Adam if you wish. And there you go. So here we have the Black Ranger. Now the Black Ranger is part of what is being called the Final Three, um, as it was the last three of the team to be released. And... They were the ones that possibly weren't going to get released before uh, Bluefin Tamashi had, you know, sold as many units as they did with the first five figures. So, here is the Black Ranger. Now, he's mostly the same figure as the Red Ranger, except for his new head sculpt, which is really fantastic. They got the helmet really well done here. Um, the tusks are nicely painted. It's not flat detail at all. It's all molded. Uh, everything sticks out. It, it, it's really nice looking. They even got the little back, uh, little, like little ear things on the back of the helmet. That is, I, I've seen all these details that have been glanced over by prior figures. And he's got a new belt buckle with the Mastodon coin, which you can see there. So, there is that. Other than that, the figure is the same. It's the same articulation. The shoulder pads seem to stay in place better. I don't know what they did, but some kind of modification was made. Uh, they aren't nearly as loose as they are in the Red Ranger. Now accessories wise, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. He comes with the Blade Blaster for the holster. That's the only version of the Blade Blaster he gets. He doesn't get the gun or the sword, but neither did the Pink Ranger. And he gets the Thunder Slinger Blade Blaster combo. So that's cool. But now we get to the interesting stuff. Hands wise, he comes with uh, hands for the Blade Blaster hands for his weapon, and then some other specialty hands we'll go over in a second. But, of course, he comes with the Power Axe, which only comes in Axe mode. Now, here's the point of contention that people have been having is that, well, it has a gun mode in the show, but this part slides forward. Unfortunately, it does not slide forward on here. This is one solid piece. It is supposed to be the Axe mode, but they actually give you a hand for blaster mode, and I guess you're just supposed to, to use this as the blaster mode. Well, not exactly. Because of the popularity of the figures, people wanted to have the full power blaster. So in order to do this, each of the last three rangers comes with pieces for the power blaster. For example, you get these bonus parts here, which are the power lances and the power sword that now has a peg on the back which connect with parts that come with Blue Ranger and Yellow Ranger to make the full Power Blaster. And the blaster mode of the Power Axe is included with the Yellow Ranger. But they give you the accessory here to have them hold the Power Blaster. So it is kind of an incentive to buy all three of the less of the Rangers to get the main five at least to complete the Power Blaster. Uh, because if you want to complete your Black Ranger and have him with the gun mode, you're going to need to get the uh, the Yellow Ranger figure. So anyways, putting his accessories in, he comes with two different hands for holding the axe. Uh, this hand actually is not for the axe. I have no idea what this hand is. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's part of his roll call pose, but given this hand here, um, this one's the wider grip, I believe. I hope it is. I, I, I'll look like a fool if it isn't. And I'm... There we go. And so you can hold the power axe uh, and get into some axe-wielding poses, which is really cool. Um, especially since this is a holding hand for the axe as well, but it works nice as a kind of splayed posing hand. I wish more of these guys had splayed hands that weren't designed to hold something. Uh, that would be really cool. But you can give them the power axe to hold, wield, dual wield as well. You can have two hands. You can use it as a baseball bat. You can axe things. You got a lot of posing options, is what I'm saying. Um, the Power Axe is quite versatile. It was the one, like, the only one used in Season 3, I think, uh, weapons-wise, from the original 5. So, that's cool. Um, 
it's quite neat. I think it's cool, and it's really his biggest defining feature outside of his new head sculpt. And then a lot of cool hands that do have some options to them. So he does have a wide range of accessories, but some of them he can't really use. So overall, Black Ranger is quite a fantastic figure. While he seems a little limited in the accessories department, he actually does quite a lot, and there's a lot of cool poses you can pose him in. And it helps that he has good characters behind him, whether it be Zack, Adam, Goshi, whatever it is, uh, whichever character you like the best. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is a little tricky that, you know, you have to get Yellow Ranger to get the gun mode of the Power Axe, but overall not a bad figure at all. Uh, he's quite good, and even if he is mostly red, it's a good body mold to base everything on. So I'd definitely recommend it. Anyway, stay tuned tomorrow as things get a little blue. And be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for all your Power Rangers news and more. Until next time, saying goodbye.